I finally wrote a book about bug bounty hunting and I'm so excited to share it with you. It has just arrived this week and you can grab your copy too. Hey there, welcome to the Hackerish YouTube channel where you can find content about computer hacking, bug bounty hunting, penetration testing, red teaming, etc. In this video, I'm going to present the recent book that I wrote, A Bug Bounty Hunting Journey, Overcome Your Limits and Become a Successful Hunter. I will explain why I wrote this book, how it is structured, and how you can get a copy. Without further ado, let's get started. There are many awesome books about bug bounty hunting in the market. So if we type bug bounty hunting, we get many books. Real World Bug Hunting from Peter Yarsky, the same author of The Web Hacking 101, Bug Bounty Hunting for Penetration Testers, Bug Bounty Hunting Essentials, Hacking the Art of Exploitation, which I talked about in a previous video, Bug Bounty Hunting for Web Security, Bug Bounty Automation with Python. But if we go inside them, let's look inside. As you can see in the table of contents, you can start noticing a pattern. They all focus on the technical aspect of bug bounty hunting. This book explains the bug bounty platforms, the web proxies, how to set up the environment, how to perform a request forgery. I'm not sure why we have an inject keyword here. Cross-site scripting. I mean, the different kinds of vulnerabilities from a technical perspective. Same thing for bug bounty hunting essentials. We have bug bounty hunting platforms, bug bounty programs, statistics, which you can find on the publicly available reports from HackerOne and Bug Crowd. How to become a bug bounty hunter, keep yourself up to date, target the right program, approach the target with clarity, how to write a report, and then a deep dive into each vulnerability at a time. Same thing here, how to join the hunt and set up your environment, what platform to pick and the tools and then the different techniques to exploit a vulnerability, CSERF, XXE, access control. There is a, a very large portion of the book that is dedicated to the technical aspect of bug bounty hunting. And don't get me wrong, these are great books that you should read. However, I didn't find a book which focuses on things beyond the technical aspect of bug bounty hunting. And from experience and what I've seen in the bug bounty community, as well as working as a triage analyst for over a year, it was pretty clear for me that bug bounty hunting takes more than technical knowledge. And that was my motivation behind writing this book, A Bug Bounty Hunting Journey, Overcome Your Limits and Become a Successful Hunter. I try to focus on the soft skills that a bug bounty hunter should have. If you already know the basics of vulnerabilities like SQL injection, cross-site scripting, XXE, SSRF, CSERF, etc., but you don't really know how to approach a target on a bug bounty program, a real target, I'm not talking about CTF challenges, if you are struggling to find bugs if your self-confidence is low, if you're even suffering from burnout, then I guess that this book is for you. Now, if you want more of technical content, then it's probably not the best book for you. Also, if you don't struggle finding bugs, like you can find two, three bugs per week, or maybe one bug per week, and you don't suffer from not finding bugs, then maybe this book isn't for you. However, you might find something interesting inside. So let's look inside the book and see what it has to offer. The book is kind of a, a short story about Anna, who is a junior security engineer who has just graduated from school. And she already knows a little bit about security vulnerabilities, especially web application vulnerabilities. But she is really curious and enthusiastic. She wants to become an offensive security certified professional. She meets with her friend, Julia, and this is where she hears for the first time of bug bounty hunting. And so along her journey, you will certainly identify with the different phases 
and the kinds of problems and struggles she will face. But at the end, she will be able to earn her first 1,000 reputation points on HackerOne and earn $5,000 along the way. This story reflects a typical bug bounty hunter journey based on my experience, on what I've seen in the bug bounty hunting community, and on my triage analyst experience. Because I didn't want it to be just a story, I included two appendices at the end of the book. The first one will walk you through a methodology that you can follow when you first approach a new target on a bug bounty program. And then, from there, the next appendix will walk you through how you can approach a web application in order to find impactful and deep security bugs. So it's available for everyone to grab. Simply go to Amazon. If you are in the USA, then choose Amazon.com. If you are in the UK, then choose co.uk. If you are in India, then you can just change the domain to Amazon.in and then you can grab the Kindle version. The Kindle version will be available shortly. It's already in the review process. I sincerely hope that this book will help every bug bounty hunter who is struggling to find security vulnerabilities in bug bounty hunting programs. I wrote it with all the passion I have and I tried to include relevant points in my experience throughout this journey. For those of you who purchased the book, I would love to see your comments and feedback, so don't forget to leave a comment. If you found this content helpful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel so that you get updates whenever I publish a new video on ethical hacking and bug bounty hunting. If you're new to hacking and want to learn the basics, check out the free OWASP Top 10 Theory and Hands-on training on thehackerish.com and apply your knowledge on the lab which supports it. If you enjoy learning with videos, I invite you to watch the OWASP Top 10 YouTube playlist. However, I encourage you to first try to solve the lab exercises so that you don't spoil them. Don't forget that there are supporting blog posts for most of the videos you watch on this YouTube channel. I also encourage you to subscribe to the Friday newsletter on thehackerish.com to gain some new hacking knowledge at the end of the week. If you enjoy listening while doing other things at the same time, check out the Hack for Fun and Profit podcast, link in the description box. Until next time, stay curious, keep learning, and go find some bugs.